Good morning from University Parks in Oxford. Hooray! Hooray! Hooray, <laughs> says Jem. What a wonderful, beautiful, glorious, sunny day. This park is looking resplendent and it's nice and quiet, relatively, because we're here early. I say quiet. We've got lacrosse people in the background. Do you like lacrosse, Jem? I was really good at it. She was very good at it. I want to see her play now. So we're just walking over to the start line, just taking it all in, breathing it all in. This is very central to Oxford and because of that, it's been getting quite a few runners in the past, I say a few weeks. The first couple of events, they had about 300 plus. Then Storm Eunice hit last week and it got canceled because of course, danger with trees. But this is their third event on their fourth week. So let's go and see the people who are responsible for this event and we know them. You may be familiar with their faces and their voices. So see you in a tick. Amy Rose has its thorn. Do you reckon I get a copyright strike due to the fact that my singing sounds so much like the actual song? Uh, it is very, very realistic, but I think it's probably just fair away. Yeah, okay, I get away with it. Good morning, Amy Rose. Good morning. A familiar face, a familiar voice. Oh. How are you doing? Run director, lady I'm person well, of the day. Thank you. All good? Yeah, all good. All good. Lovely weather compared to last week, so. I'm reading University Parks and everything, like <laughs> yeah. University Parks. Is there much history about this place? It kind of feels historical. Does Oxford yeah. have much history? No, um, well, you know, a bit. A bit. A little bit. Which has got Not more history, much. Cambridge or Oxford? Oh, no. Oh, I don't oh. want to start that conversation, do I? Anyway. Depends. Yeah, all good. Right, so well, thank you very much for running director this morning. Oh, Looking well, forward welcome. to it. Fourth event, but not fourth event because it's cancellation, third event. Third event, second course. We're doing pretty well so far. Okay, so yeah. it's, uh, we've been managed to adapt all the way. <laughs> toilets, the toilets nearby. Because people are watching thinking, what about the facilities? It's very central to Oxford. Plenty of car parking, multi stories. Yeah. Toilets are just toilets a small are building over there. Stones throw over that stones way. Stones throw. Um, and so, yeah. yeah. Bye. Bye. See you, Amy. Ciao, bye. I'm going to put them in for half a second and that's it. Bye Kieran. So I don't know which t-shirt to wear this morning so I have a choice. I either wear my blue 500 or I wear my yellow with me now top. I think both might work. This is the Swift house. Lots of little homes for the little Swifty birdies. There is a big attendance here today. It's a 300 people plus on average at the moment. Look, it's quite a lot. Are you excited, Tom? Morning, Libs. You're right. Nice and local for you, isn't it? Yeah, just up the road, just up the road from Harworth, it's a nice and easy for her. Yeah, 20 minutes. Oh, 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 one brief, let's go and have a listen. Thank you so much. Well, welcome to University Park Park Run, event number three. Yay. Thank you for bearing with us whilst we've made it here. We are a week late, obviously, but it's great to see so many of you back this morning. Um, we have a jam-packed run brief, so I'm going to try and get through it as quickly as possible. Can we kick off with a big round of applause for all of our volunteers this morning? Did you get your cow shout out? Did you get your cow shout out? What is that on your head? Yeah, but why? This is like a massive turnout. I think it might be topping 400. It's bigger than last week at Hazelwood. Um, it's a little hard to hear Amy just there because um, a lot of people are talking to all the back. Um, but I wonder if it can seem a bit intimidating. If you're a first timer to an event like this, I wonder if you feel at home if you're at the back or is it a bit intimidating? I feel a bit overwhelmed just by being amongst the crowd. So it's an interesting thought. I'm okay because I've done hundreds of park runs, but I wonder if you're new to park run, would you be okay with a big event or do you prefer a smaller one? Have we started? Oh wow, okay. So that's an interesting one. I think we started. Yeah, I think I think we started, but we've no idea. It's so bigger crowd and we didn't hear you start we didn't hear the start, we couldn't hear you. Oh well. Um but yeah Amy's waving, hello Amy, but 
the, yeah. So if you do come here, it's all the back. I know they're on an alternative course, but we started to watch people rolling. Um, no idea that we were going ahead. I think it's the first time it's ever happened. I've been at Parkrun and not heard the start. Hundreds of Parkruns are still having experiences new to me. So I forgot to say, chill up of course. I'll film the first app for you so you can get a look at the park and I can start to put my foot down for the second part. Thank you Marshall. flat fast course but if you don't stop for a second you'll miss a load of the beauty that goes by look at this and then right next to it the park runners trotting on by morning Luke morning toothless So that's two and a half K done. Goes by really quickly, brain is preoccupied. It's beautiful, it's fast, it's flat. Just, it's tree lined, makes it glorious. I was here in the summer before Parkland came to be, I know it's been a long time in the making. You know when you go into a green space? Casterbury, I did that at Casterbury, where there's been rumbles and rumors about Parkland starting in the location. I know this has been ongoing for 12 years. Potentially could have happened years ago and cut to slow happened instead of this place. But it's just, just that bit of, the park was not somewhere just yet, doesn't mean that it won't ever be. And here's a prime example of it. What a great addition to the park run family. We're 24 minutes in, so lots of people have finished now. It's the finish area. Look at this, busy, isn't it? It's busy. Sunny, happy, joyful day. Oh, Sight hello. being back at the We've Been Now Power Wow at Oakland. Hello again. Hi, my eyes have just misted up. Hello, Karen's back when I think the lens all <laughs> misted up as well. But yeah. thank you for chat walking okay. this morning. How are you doing? Pleasure, we're good, thank you. Well, I've only got 300 oh. to go. Oh, cool. Look, Luke Daniels just here. Oh, yeah. Luke, Luke, Daddy Luke. Beach, oh, hello. Oh, Sorry, yeah, Daddy Beach. <laughs> Daddy Beach just there. Hello. This toothless. So I didn't get to speak to you at the Power Well. No. I've been speaking to a marshal, so I thought I'd wait to come and speak to you. Thank you for yeah. marshalling today. No worries. So how is it? All it's good? Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. It's busy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good one. It's crazy busy, but yeah. super fast, super flat. Yep. The ground is pretty much all like the tarmac path surface. or yeah, gravel, so it's ideal and the sunshine has come out. So yep. wonderful morning. Anyway, well, thank you. I thought you were we were going to take part, but it's just I was going to, to, but I looked at the roster last night and they needed marshals, and I was coming anyway. The run will still be here in other times, so. Yeah, so yeah. And I get to stand by Tolkien's bench, so I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting to oh, nerd out. Where is it? Time. Just yeah, there. It's about three benches down. There's... So I've gone past it, so yeah, Tolkien's bench, it. where yeah, he just sits there, and, yeah. and obviously we used to sit on occasion when he was up here. Yeah? Yep, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I need to go and read that and do a bit of Wikipedia research yeah, on so that. So I'm in a very happy spot here. Lovely. Well, thank you on behalf of all of us running today and watching this vid. Thank you, Luke. No worries. See you at the end. Take care. 200 to go. Let's go. Finish time. Thank you, Marshall. Oh, God, you I don't. That's a lie. <laughs> Thank you. I much appreciate it. 100 meters to go, it says. Thank you. Obviously, I started my watch at a different time to where the start line was. Into the finish. 
Thank you. Thank you, timers. Phew. All good? Busy. Are oh, you all good? You got hammered today. How many people? Lots. Thank you. Thank you. So about all that. I haven't done much, I've just run a lot. It's these guys here who deserve all the praise. <laughs> 326. Thank you. Much appreciated. 326. There you go. Oh, I don't know what the record turnout is. I mean, it's only new anyway. So it's a bit moot because these numbers are going to change and fluctuate. And as the numbers will obviously grow, I think, because it's in the centre of the city and the students will talk about it. These numbers are pale, but I just hope these guys manage to cope because it is a tight course. They've had to make adjustments, but it is going to be busy. It's like when I went to Southampton, the Noggle, when I used to go to Noggles many years back, you could tell Southampton was going to be big and it ended up being the second biggest to Bushy. I think this has got a lot of echoes and hallmarks of the potential, but it's lovely. It's lovely to see so many young people out and about. This park cross demographic does tend to lean towards my end of things in terms of age brackets and because of that you're always concerned that you don't want a generation to not get involved and miss out but the amount of young voices the amount of students that were here yeah events like this leave it in good hands i've just managed to catch this on tape so i'm being fought over i'm being told off for not going out. I, I just want to i want to be enticed okay so this person's making a claim for it i like that he knows my athlete id number see luke what are you offering Free coffees and teas in the cafe afterwards. <laughs> you need to come over here, otherwise I'll be very offended. I don't want to get in a scrap over this, thank you very much. Excuse me, me first. So, you have, you have Bev? Is that, can you have Bev? You do Bev. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> can you be a bit more stern with your son over certain things like this then? Be much appreciated. I got a message last night saying I'm not coming home, bring me my shorts, bring me my t-shirt, bring me drinks, bring me barcode, bring me trainers, bring me socks. Make me a cake please for someone. Yeah. Stop obliging him. <laughs> Kick him out the house. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Last week, so that's it now, no more. Double rent next month. Fee -e you. It has been an immense day. It's still just about ongoing. Hi, how many people have we had? Oh, oh yeah! Wow. Okay, 441. Now, like, I think it's going to reach 450. Have you been token giving by yourself this no, morning? No, have you had help? Phew, oh, phew. Well, I thank might, you very much. I might die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, if you're on your own, yeah. you're like a machine having to dish them out really quickly. But huge, huge thank you for, for token giving this morning. Yeah, much appreciated. Wow. Um, yeah. So, okay, 441. Tail walker still out. So we still got tail walker out there, yeah. Um, and so, I've had wonderful conversations just now, and. There is something in my head ringing a bell going, there's a concern, not about the park run, but because it potentially could be a victim of its own success. Now, success is not gauged by the size of a park run. You can have 50 people turn up to a park run for years and years, and that is perfect. It's a wonderful community element side of things. I'm gonna come this way because there's skips behind us, a bit more, <laughs> a bit more pretty behind me. But the concern is that if it grows and grows and grows, and it could potentially grow and get become 500 and 600, and because the paths are relatively quite small, that does the landowner, the person who gives the permission to run on the event, think, oh, maybe this is a bit too much and then retract that permission? And that's the concern. Um, I hope these guys manage to cope in that sense. 441, 442 is not going to be the end of it. So when you watch this, guys, I'm going to speak to Amy very shortly. I hope you grow and I hope you grow sustainably and I hope there isn't a huge impact in the sense that people don't want you to be here anymore because you deserve to be here. It's a wonderful location and Oxford obviously loves it. And the students, that demographic, the fact that young people are being here. Yeah, please remain, please stay. See, I'm gonna interfere in your conversation. Hello, clipboard person of authority. The clipboard of authority. How's it been? How's it coped? All right, I think, yeah. Record got... numbers, yes? Yes. Four, four, zero, yeah. Are you going to cope when this gets bigger and bigger each week? Oh, yeah, easy. Don't Yeah, you reckon? I actually do, yeah. You've got a lot to manage, you've got a lot to work out. So, um, yeah, good luck. Good luck is all I can say, because this is this is going to get bigger. Oh, yeah, no, of course. Oh, Dad, completely. Have fun. Go straight for the cakes. Well, I just yeah. reckon... I just saw the cakes and I completely forgot. It is an important time. Yeah. What is it today? Did you get a shout out on the start line for your 
Powell, Powell, yeah, Bev. 100 different. And what's it next week? It's your. So, next week. Amy shouted out. Someone's done a hundred different clap, 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 and the guy leans in and says, I've done three, three, three different events. Did you have a 500 t shirt on? He did have a 500 t shirt. Thank you, Dave, for spoiling. Uh, Dave Thomas, thank you very much for spoiling. Bev's fun. Dave, you don't have to say anything, Dave. It's not a competition. You're not going to watch this video anyway, but if you see Dave, oh, pass it on. <laughs> yeah, if you pass it on to Dave. No, it was day nice. He is lo he lovely, Dave. Nice, but please, yeah. just just take into consideration. Don't don't wee on someone else's parade in that sense. But 250 for Bev as well. Next right? week. Next week. Birthday as well, isn't it? Boring Norman. Birthday, though, isn't it? Boring Norman Club. Boring Norman Club. Club. Don't make pod references on the video. People won't know what you're on about. But also, um, yeah. And it's my birthday. Yeah. And it's your birthday. So it's a big occasion. I'm not going to be with her. She's going to be at Kingston. So go and celebrate with Hopefully Bev. Hopefully at Kingston. But it depends on the tree. Anyway, but yes, well done. Let's have a look at um, <clears throat> Master Baker's wares, please. Whip them out. Whip out your. I'm very your pleased with my spring boy usage. I love you and your in. It's so easy to make innuendo, isn't it? Yes. She's a very good baker, therefore she's a master baker. Oh, try not to drop them. Wow. Let's have a. Let's have a so we have a thing. Not arbitrary. Not arbitrary. Wow. Power sprinkles and then eat How much time have you spent on that? Too Amazing. much time. Too much time. time. There's never enough time on cupcakes. Anyway, thank you very much. Well, well done. Yeah, and Jim and Steve and everyone. So yeah, it's been a bit of a controversial week, as many people will know online, social media wise, about um, people running with harnesses uh, around their waist. It's a human harness, not a dog harness. Steve, can you show us Bertie? Now, I think there is a solution. Now, I don't want to get into the ins and outs of it. If you're going to feel strongly about it, you want to have a go at me about it, as people have done on Twitter throughout the week, and you've kind of hollowed out my experience um, and my feeling towards uh, the whole affair. Um, if there is a problem, then find a solution. You can stomp your feet about it, or you can potentially look at things like this. Now, Steve's been running around perfectly okay. Bertie's in the harness. It's on a short lead, it keeps to the parkrun rules. The parkrun rules are going to be that way from April the 2nd. They're not gonna change it. But I'm afraid these things happen. If it's results pages on parkrun, if it is 100 jackets being stopped, if it's the under 11s rule, if it is running with only one dog, not two, um, if it's tower walker changing from tower runner, things are gonna change and the organization as it grows has to adapt. Depends on how you choose to address it. If you choose to shout and get angry, or have polite conversation and discourse. <laughs> Funnily enough, part of the new park ground rules are about taking the dogs away because of the noise at the start line and not being able to hear it. There's a prime example. Anyway, yeah, look, if you're going to watch this and you are wondering what I think about it, it wasn't a great Thursday. The live feed that we had Christmas Day about the random acts of kindness, you had, we had the news that Keo the kitty passed away had to be put to sleep that hit me and then I go on Twitter and then discover we're talking about I tried to remain objective about the dog thing and just became it became a brawl almost it's like people took a lot out on innocent parties who just happened to talk about the topic and a lot of events have received some flack and it's been a privilege to run with dogs it still is a privilege to run with dogs you haven't been banned from running with dogs your way that you take part with a dog it will be adapted if you don't want to come back to park run it's a shame but please just consider if you're going to use things like mental health factors that if you're taking it out on innocent parties the impact it has on them too so i don't yeah I don't want to get into it too much because it's been a wonderful positive day and I don't want it to spoil it um, but it has definitely impacted my mindset last night and this morning as to how I felt about parkrun and if that's impacting someone like me who's a huge parkrun advocate please just consider matters in that respect anyway University Parks wonderful beautiful hope you've enjoyed watching the video let's go to the cafe let's have a chat and a debrief but in the meanwhile University Parks Thank you. It's been a great occasion. Let's go and have some fun with friends. This is either going to work or it's not going to work. <laughs> I'm now blocking Amy. I just have a head on the table. Go forward, Amy. <laughs> Hi. Rock back and forth, gently. Stop doing that silly grin, Steve. I think it's in the shot. I've asked him not to look, sit there looking all like a scarecrow, and now he's just over exaggerating and egging it. Right, so have you got Bevin? I'm here. Hi. Bev's been a little bit emotional today, haven't you? Oh, don't start, because I start again. I'm going to mention it in the podcast, but she's been a bit sad because of all what's going on. It's been a heavy week. I, as you'll have seen, um, the whole 
dogs thing and, and the, the war thing going on and um, the intensity of this morning. So it was busy. It was busy, Amy. Yeah, not overwhelmingly busy. Not yet. 50 more than we had last week. Not overwhelmingly just yet. You've got a big punk run potentially on your hands. She seems very confident and up to the task, which is great. Anyway, so where are we at the moment? We are in the common, common ground, ground sixth form common. Sorry, no, cafe, not sixth form common room. Sorry, but it does remind us. And I like informality, so it's really cool. There is a what's that a saddle over there to yeah. sit on. Lots of eccentric gear and all sorts of different oh, yeah. barbers like chair. I'm sitting in a barbers chair. You're sitting in a barbers chair. Yeah, so it's uh, eclectic and eccentric. Anyway, Master Baker has obviously bought the cakes and things. But yeah, it's been fantastic. It's been a it's been an interesting morning. It's been a lovely social occasion. Um, but I think we're all, I think it's natural to say, it's fair to say, it's been a positive experience, but we all are anxious and sensitive and it's okay to admit that, what's going on on our doorstep, continental doorstep, I should say. Um, but Parkrun is the, little, the light in our, in our week. Um, so thank you, Amy. Thank you very much for bringing University Parks. And yeah, very briefly, just tell us a little bit about how long it's taken to come here. Um, Can you do brevity? Oh, okay. So 2010, they asked University Parks the first time, said no in 2010. Um, ten years later, uh, somebody called Ben Farmer asked again. He was um, working for the Student Union. Um, they said yes, and then he did a lot of fundraising. And then I came on board in 2021. And then my board today. And That's then it. my Done. board today, yeah. Hooray! <laughs> anyway, so University Park is here. It's big, it's fast, it's flat. Two lap course. Two laps. I, three lap, no, you can't have 500 people on a three lapper. There's, there's, there's it good did, luck it, with it that. It kind of works. Kind of. But we like this one better, I think. And I, I liked the experience of my 723 park runs of not being able to hear the start for the very first time. So you brought a novelty <laughs> and uniqueness to my park run experience. We need a PA system, but we also need money, so I might have to fork out. We're in Oxford. Come on, bring the dollar. Anyway, right, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like us. Oh, I mustn't leave. But do you know what I'm doing? I just rolled on my chair because it's got wheels on the bottom of it. That's why I went out of shot. Anyway, so yes, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and thank you very much for watching. And next week, I have no idea where I'm going, hopefully the coast. Until then, take care. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.